Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In my previous episode, there was a minor error of judgment. Let's see if I can do this again without killing myself this time. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down. Oh yes, I've got to keep my voice down. Sorry about that. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down. I wonder if the council is in session. Do you think they know what I just did? I bet they're killing themselves laughing. Right, let's have another look, shall we? And this time, we'll just stand behind the railings because, kids, that's what you should do. When your parents tell you not to go and hang over the railings, they mean it. If you don't follow their advice, you may find the end of my last video happens to you. Ouch. Hmm, you can even sit down. How exciting. This must be the most boring job in the world. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial yeah, yeah. Palace is a serious crime. I bet I was the most exciting thing he's seen in years. Oh, I suppose all its closed doors behind me. To be honest with you, I, I'm so dazed and confused by what happened. <laughs> I've completely forgotten what it was I was supposed to be doing. I'm fairly certain it wasn't dying. Remember. Right, let me have a think about this. I've got to find some bloke. And I'm supposed to be looking into corruption. That's it, corruption. Yeah. Do you know anything about some corruption? Oh, shut up. By keeping your voice down. La 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 I have got a two-handed sword. Listen to me, keeping my voice down. No respect for authority at all. Good. Campus Corvus Bookshop. We're looking for somebody called Gen C. I don't in there. think so. Fighting What's going chance. on with you? I wonder if they buy my stuff. Actually, Gen C might buy my, might buy my stuff. Yeah, well, that be it. <laughs> High agility can keep you from getting knocked down. Can it keep me from throwing myself over a railing? Hello. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Oh, do tell. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the Market District. I'm the kind of person that you're looking for. Are you aware that I just threw myself over a railing by accident? I'm the chairperson for the Society of Concerned Merchants. We formed this group a while back to keep a nice, fair economic balance in town. Not every store is a member, but we're slowly trying to convince them to join. Everything was fine until Thorinir opened his shop nearby. Selling all sorts of merchandise, he undercuts prices like you wouldn't believe. Does he sell bread? He doesn't always sell what we sell, but it is still a problem. People who buy tend to want to spend their money there. That leaves none for us. It's getting so bad, a few of us may have to close up shop. He outright refuses to join the society or even discuss the matter. We are convinced he's up to no good. What we need is for you to case his establishment and figure out where he gets his inventory. Find some proof of his wrongdoing and let us know. I'm sorry, case his establishment? We cannot do it ourselves, as he recognizes all of us. The job pays a fair bounty in gold when he is brought to justice. What do you take me for? Well, goodness me. Corrupt Imperial Watchman. Thorinir. Decision, decision. No, I'm going to I'm going to stick with what my what my original plan was, which was to throw myself over a fence, which I've done. Who told you that? Um, some bloke in the street. 
Rustlin and Laronk, those idiots don't know when to stay quiet. Look, I'm not telling you anything, stranger. I don't trust you. What? You trust me enough to go and check out some competition, but you don't trust me enough to tell me about Corrupt Imperial Watchmen. You, madam, are an idiot. Thanks again for your help. We had no other place to turn. Actually, while I'm Any here... Any news about that certain task we discussed? I haven't even left the room yet. What do you think? God. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Oh, yeah. Awesome sword. How much gold have I got? Oh. Hmm. Hang on. Well, she probably doesn't like me very much. But I'm going to try that. It's been a while since I last... You don't anything. expect me to make no, that deal. No, I don't, to be honest. About that. Oh, great. Right. Have my six bow, have my bargain. arrows, have my small sword, Excellent. have my axe. A fine I don't know where that came from. Really, I ought to be probably be giving you the claymore. It's quite heavy. Let's see what else I can sell off. An ex I wasn't issued with a wheelbarrow at the start of the game, but I kind of feel like I should have been. Not having any of that. I don't really want you to have any of that. You can have the book. Um, oh, and you can have the wolves. There we go. Now I have sold my wolf remains. Thanks again for your help. Let's go and check out Mr. Corruption. Um, where does this go? What are these watchtowers? Let's have a look. loads of it. There's food. There's food and there's nobody around. There's food and there's nobody around. Oh, potato. Mm, that is bread. More bread. Oh, cheese. Apples. Apples. Cheese. Bread. Cheese. Mm, food. Should we have a quick look at what's here as well? Oh, give me. You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now oh, forfeit. Oh, no! Current bounty, one. Go to jail? Could go to jail, but for one cold piece seems a bit pathetic, really, doesn't it? Resist arrest, that's tempting. Um, no. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. Can't have it all. Okay, here's the procedure. We go to the castle. What? First, we search you. Confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine and we release you. No. No, you just take a gold piece off me. Oh. Gameplay Jenny.